The holiday deals of Vanderveer are hotter than a fresh cup of cocoa. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was abrupt chaos very quickly. <laughs> It's the Curse Commercials Holiday Special. As you can see, the blizzard outside has gotten even worse. It would be a real shame if the cable went out and we couldn't watch all these terrible commercials. Don't you like holiday commercials? Hey! There is actually snow on the floor. Must have blown in from outside. You need to stop that. I'm warning you. What are you gonna do? You're a puppet. You can't even get off the top of that bookshelf. <laughs> Curse Commercials is brought to you by G Fuel, a natural energy drink formula that is a healthy alternative to sugar loaded energy drinks that is both delicious and has no crash. Get it in powder, get it in a can, use code CURSE to check out to save 30% off your order while the promotion lasts. So things for Chad weren't going well, he thought he'd read a good luck spell, but he misread and then he fell under a curse. Christmas, everyone. We are watching holiday themed commercials today on the holiday special, and we'll be rating out of 10 how cursed we think they are. That's it, that's the show. Let's go, oh, oh! As tradition, corporate advertising is years behind any trend. Here we have a Coffee Mate ad with a flossing gingerbread man. I like the idea that they thought that having just the bottle of Coffee Mate wasn't exciting enough. So they had to like put a flossing gingerbread man next to it. I mean, they could have had the bottle of Coffee Mate being like poured into a coffee mug or something. But no, of course, this was a much more sensible idea. Much more exciting. It's a flossing gingerbread man. Starting off strong, that's a nine. Like a delicious hot bowl of Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Let it snow, let it snow. Campbell's makes everything. I actually remember this ad. I feel like it played all the time during the holidays. Feels like it's a good advertisement. It does leave a lot of questions. Like, why was this child inside of a snowman? How did this happen? Did a bunch of, like, neighborhood kids, like, trap him inside a snowman? How did he breathe? How was it in the beginning... His arms were sticks, and then suddenly they're just human in the next shot. Who made the bowl of Campbell's soup and put it on the table? Was this of no surprise to them that their child was just inside a giant snowman? Alternate theory, this was a snowman that then got turned into a human rather than a human inside of a snowman. Guys, I could just keep going with the theories all day here. But despite me having lots of questions, it does do a pretty decent job of making me want chicken noodle soup. I think this wins the award for... The most wholesome and comfy and also at the same time kind of creepy commercial. Four. <laughs> the 
Don't let your holiday marketing crumble. Use video ads that convert. I have this strong feeling that this marketing company is who made this Coffee Mate ad. It's too similar. This is going to be a running theme in this episode. There's just cursed dancing gingerbread men. At least they're not flossing, so not as cursed. Seven. Just what I need. Sorry. Jeez. Got you really good, too. Here, take it. No, I, I couldn't. And what are you, 34 ways? Yeah. We got you covered. Wait, wait, what do you think? Uh, that's refreshing? Yeah. Try this the crisp, clear lemon lime taste of 7 Up. It's perfect holiday refreshment. Take the car. Can I insist? Really? It is a wonderful life. <laughs> I just like the way he says, yeah. 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 This is a weird commercial. Here we're showing something that will never happen, and somehow it's a soda advertisement, even though what's happening has nothing to do with the product. Seriously, how did, like, 7-Up green light this? And they were like, yeah, this showcases off our product really well and will make people want to buy it. Who thought that? Is it like a short, funny skit? Yeah. Yeah. But... In terms of advertising, it just completely and utterly fails. An advertising fail, but not very cursed, I guess. Two. Yeah. Every holiday season, Santa and his elves buy video games at Video Game Underground. Video Game Underground has the holiday's best selection of video games you won't find anywhere else. You know, I don't know if any of you knew this, but Santa is quite a gamer, folks. It's nice to see another Video Game Underground ad. I do have to admit the Halloween Video Game Underground commercial was much better though. Video Game Underground has the best video games in town. This commercial left me a little disappointed when comparing it to that one. That doesn't mean you shouldn't listen to Santa. He knows where to buy good video games. You should listen to Santa. One. Yeah. The Christmas season once again is here. The Santa been selected the man of the year. The hip hop job is the one on fact. Got one nine hundred nine zero nine rap. Yes, Santa's got the word, word. and it's better than toys. The old rap my music employs for Christmas words. Fresh out of Santa stack. Got one nine hundred nine zero nine rap. So pick up your phone, sit back, relax, and listen. Kids, before your dial, get your parents' permission. Yo, call right now and share Santa's hip hop holiday. Two dollars the first minute, forty five cents each additional minute. <laughs> Call Santa's rap hotline. Man, people made hotlines to just monetize anything back then, didn't they? Why would I call to hear Santa rapping when I just witnessed this commercial and heard Santa rapping? My sense of curiosity is gone, guys. Holy crap! $2 for the first 60 seconds. And then 45 cents after that. I feel like this commercial was only made to tempt kids to call the number without their parents knowing and then just get a surprise phone bill. Why else would they have ever done something like this? This definitely wins the award for worst attempt at trying to monetize Christmas. Very cursed though. I'm giving that a 10. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere in the world, even on San Francisco's very own Green Street, the Soviets are dreaming of a red Christmas. If they could, they would change our way of life. To them, nothing is sacred. Oh my God. Christmas propaganda. Folks, that's a 10. What do you want me to say? The Santa just got nuked with a homing missile. I mean, what do you want me to say? Yeah. Oh, look, a Pepto Bismol ad that has dancing gingerbread men. I wonder what marketing firm they hired. I can't believe how many dancing gingerbread men are in this video. Guys, you don't need to hire this advertising firm. Let me save you some money. If you want to advertise a product, this is what they're going to do, okay? They're going to put the product in a shot, and then they're going to have some dancing gingerbread men next to it. That's it. I just saved you a ton of money. You're welcome. Seven. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Mm -mm. It's Santa. We got a problem. Ho, ho, 
<laughs> what? What the heck? So Santa's taking a bath and needs an emergency Oreo delivered to his house. Not many Oreos, although it looks like they get many Oreos, but they just bring one Oreo. And it's like a Snow Yeti, Nutcracker, and a Snowman. Is that a good summary of what we just watched? Like, one Oreo cookie is something you order when you just want to tick off an Uber Eats or DoorDasher. That's what that's for. For... Yeah. Good news for people that have credit problems. Norton Furniture is here for you. Now, seriously, if you can't get credit in my store, you can't get credit anywhere. Mark, I've got a really big order to fill this year. Do you think you could help me out? <clears throat> you know who I am. Ho, ho, ho. Six, eight, seven, sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. Yeah, it's the return of Norton Furniture, a favorite. <laughs> that went about as expected. I don't know what to tell you guys. That was about as holiday themed as a Norton Furniture commercial could get, I guess. I was kind of hoping Santa would burst in with like a chainsaw or something. Hey, gang! Whoa! Hey, bro, what's all the racket? My dude! I still get that booty down there! 687 I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little disappointed. That's a four, I guess. Yeah. Twas the night before Christmas, and Santa was running late. He needed some batteries, so he called on his friends interstate. Looking for Santa. Interstate battery. Every battery for every need. I don't understand. Was Santa about to uh, commit theft? Was he going to pay for that item or was he just going to leave? Why can't Santa just come in during normal open day business hours? Why does the store owner seem so unfazed by this? Why is he at the store? Does he sleep there? None of this makes any sense. Also, another behind-the-scenes fact, this uh, commercial was actually narrated by the famous David Scott, once again. Gentleman from the pizza commercial that we all remember. David Scott has once again made curse commercials history. Congratulations. Congratulations on making terrible advertisement! <laughs> also, where the frick is Santa's beard? Come on. You have the budget for the most of his outfit, but not a beard? Come on, guys. Six. Yeah. At Kenner Moraine Heating, we know Jack Frost is on the naughty list. If he tries to stop at your home to put the freeze on things... <laughs> call Kenner Moraine Heating to the rescue for fast heat. At Kenner Moraine Heating, we offer 24-hour emergency service and same-day installations. Our super high-efficient Lennox furnaces start at $37.95. Call or visit KettleMoraineHeating.com today. Oh my god, did you guys see that? There's a continuity error! Jack Frost freezes these gingerbread men, but in the very next shot, they're they're not frozen anymore, even though they're like trying to like still stand still. Also, that's not Jack Frost. That's it's like a bootleg snow miser. In reality, they probably filmed this in like a parking lot, but part of me kind of hopes it was on an extremely busy road and it was a giant inconvenience for everyone. That would have been really funny. Not bad, Kettle Marine. Four. At Kettle Moraine Heating, we know Jack. Yeah. Save on everything at Christmas in July. H H H H H H H H Greg. Panasonic Blu-ray, ninety-nine dollars. H H H H H H H H Greg. Thirty-two inch LCD TV, two ninety-nine. LG forty-two inch HD TV, four eighty-nine. Everything's on sale during Christmas in July. H H H H. A snowball in July? H H Greg. For some of you watching, this might not have seemed like that crazy of a commercial. But for some reason, the video on YouTube that features this ad has 600,000 views. If I had to guess, it was probably because it was like a commercial that aired a lot or something. I like the top comment. I love how this commercial's legacy is probably going to last longer than the store ever did. The actor was being held at gunpoint to do this. 
Also, apparently this ad inspired some kind of remix or something. Save on everything at Christmas. This ad surprisingly had a lot of lore attached to it, so that made it all the more fascinating, I guess. That's a nine. Yeah, the holiday deals of Vader are hotter than a fresh cup of cocoa. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was abrupt chaos very quickly. While they last, lease a new Kia Forte or Soul for $1.99 a month. Only at Vandiver Kia. Come join the Vandiver Month. Buy smart and leave happy. Now, why couldn't they have actually had him spit real coffee on the other guy? Like, that wouldn't have taken anything out of the budget. He could have actually did that. That would have been funny and way more effective. I guess this really crappy video editing effect along with him screaming is pretty cursed, though. I suppose if they did do it for real, though, we wouldn't have gotten this beautiful end product. Why is it uh, Kia dealerships have, like, the most cursed ads? What's the connection there? That's a five, and it's only a five because of, th of the coffee thing. Fresh cup of cocoa! Ah! Uh. Yeah. You would have to have some sort of wild luck to have your house be the one the Santa takes a dump in when he's out delivering presents on Christmas. But I'm sure he's got to go somewhere, especially eating all those sugary snacks and cookies that are left out everywhere. I would imagine a lot of time is probably spent on the toilet Christmas Eve. Father Christmas? Oh, uh, hi. I, I, I didn't mean to wake you. Was just trying to find the loo. It wasn't you. It's that stench. I'm sorry, dearie. Just well, go back to sleep. What is that smell? Oh, geez, not again. Who do you see, Nicholas? Please, girls, go back to bed. He's dropping Yule logs down his chimney. Come on now, a little privacy would be great. I've been holding this thing since Dubai. The whole house smells like a gingerbread manslaughter. I'm sorry. Uh, it's the milk and cookies, okay? Every year destroys me. Well, now that you're here, dumping lumps of coal in our toilet, what did you get me for Christmas? <laughs> Grizz. I don't make a meal of it, okay? It's not that bad. Look what I found. Jesus, there's another one. Whoa, put that back. That's I was looking around for that horrible stench, and I found this under the tree. That's not for <gasps> you. iPhones, hundreds of them, all for us. As soon as I'm done here, I'm going to get those gifts back, oh and you're all going on the naughty list. Oh, yeah? Then I'm going to put you on Instagram. Hashtag busted. Do you know who I am? <laughs> oh, my God. Things are escalating very quickly. Look, Kringle, you never should have pinched off a hot slice of fruitcake without using poopery. Poopery? Poopery, the gift that stops stinking. This commercial is uncomfortably long, but at least they make a lot of Christmas pooping puns. They really had no restraint with this one. <laughs> they hold on that last shot for a very uncomfortable amount of time. I love fart humor. Let me enhance this ad. <laughs> Sorry, dearie. Just, just go back to sleep. No. Oh, jeez, not again. Who do you see, Nicholas? Please, girls, go back to bed. Come on now, a little privacy would be great. I've been holding this thing since I'm sorry. 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 i am now, you can get 30% off all month if you use code CURSE at checkout on any of the one items featured on the link in the description of this video. So it's not a temporary promotion. It's all month. Things are changing a little bit for the better. So stock up. Use that code at checkout. Oh, oh, oh. Is that Santa? I thought Santa died. I guess not. I guess Santa is back. I'm telling him, you threw snowballs at me. You're getting on the naughty list. What about you? You threw like a thousand snowballs on top of me. Self-defense. 
that was a self-defense. You threw like a thousand snowballs on top of me, like three minutes after I threw one snowball at you.